I thank Father Wilfred and Father Mark for welcoming me into the parish family of St. Uh, Mary's. And I thank the parishioners for accepting me and accepting me so heartfeltly. Secondly, I thank the McVicker family. Where would I be without them? They opened up their hand, their hearts, and their homes to me on the occasion of my retirement. And uh, I thank Archbishop Carney, uh, who died incidentally in 1990, for taking a chance on me, as it were, and welcoming me into the uh, Archdiocese. And I thank his successors for uh, bearing with me over the rest of the time until uh, I retired. And I thank the, all the people of the Archdiocese of Vancouver, and those whose lives I've been touched for uh, putting up with my foibles, and, but above all, I thank God for letting the light of his love at times shine through me. And I ask him to forgive me for all the occasions, and I'm sure there are many, when the light of God's love did not shine through me. You take forgiveness out of the Christian gospel. What do you have left? And I pose that question for, for myself so many times in my heart. Nothing. We have nothing left without forgiveness. And if we cannot ask God, because it can be difficult at times, to forgive our worst enemies, who is God going to forgive? So we can't take forgiveness out of the church. We can't forgive us. This is the cup of my blood which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Period. No clauses in there, no ifs, ands, or buts. So it is, says Jesus, if you don't forgive one another from the bottom of our hearts. And so it is that I, on this 50th anniversary, with all my heart, I hope there is nobody in this whole wide world or my world that I touch with my ministry that I have not forgiven. And I would pray that they would forgive me also. But above all, on this occasion, it's almost 50 years, and if I dare use a different word because I have said thank you in many ways to many people and above all the thank you to Almighty God if I dare finish off with three words to describe the occasion and describe our Catholic lives and those three words are in the brief that I don't understand except this word, Eucharist, Eucharist, Eucharist. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you.